The following is a presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars Baseball. Barrels that deep to left, and that will be in the pines, a solo home run. Live coverage of BYU Baseball is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU Baseball team. Now, for all the action, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Good evening, Cougar baseball fans, and welcome back inside scenic Larry H. Miller Field at Miller Park on the BYU campus here in Provo, Utah. Tonight, the Cougars look to get back into a three-game series with the Big 12 leading Oklahoma Sooners. OU took the opener of this weekend's three-game set last night, hanging on for a 10-8 win. The victory was the Sooners' fifth in a row. Meantime, BYU's now lost seven consecutive conference home games, and their hopes of qualifying for the Big 12 tournament well, they're now going to require a late-season turnaround, hopefully starting tonight. I'm your play-by-play commentator, Greg Rubel. And first pitch coming right up, so let's get to our pregame conversation with BYU head coach Trent Pratt. It's our leadoff interview presented by doTERRA. doTERRA, pursue what's pure. And tonight, Coach Pratt talks about the recently narrow margin between wins and losses for BYU. Yeah, but it's losing still stinks. It's, it doesn't feel good to, to lose close, let's put it that way, so... It's, it's a play here and a play there, and the margin's really small, like you said, and we just got to find a way to get that margin with us on top. You hand the ball to Bryce Robison. Uh, his next win will be his 25th. We talked about it, about, about it last week. He's in the top 15 in so many career longevity categories. He's been a great pitcher for you for a long time. He has been, and we take him some run support. I mean, he's pitched. I mean, he's arguably been like our most consistent starter, without a doubt. He's the areas under four in a conference play. And it's, we, had to give, we haven't given him enough run support. Um, he should have some more wins, but, man, he keeps us in every game, and man, we're going to try to get him a win tonight. And you go against a hard-throwing right-hander for uh, for Oklahoma tonight. Yeah, Witherspoon, man, probably 95-98 with a good slider, and so we got to work it out for us. We'll be ready on time for the fastball and be, be ready to hit tonight. With a, with a righty for them, you bring a lefty bat back into the lineup, and Crew McChesney gets his second start. Yeah, Crew has some pinch hits the last couple of games yeah. and done a good job, so, man, we'll run him out there and man, see if that bat can stay hot for us. Another change is uh, Parker Goff behind the plate. Uh, you go Colin to, to first and Cooper back to right, and uh, Parker's been a good bat for you too. Yeah, he's been hot too, so we're, uh, we hope we get those bats in lineup and they can stay that way and get a couple of big hits and score some runs. All right, those who watched or listened last night are anxious for the update on Mason Olsen. We don't know a lot yet, is that right? Nope, don't know anything yet. Um, saw the doctor. We'll wait for some imaging to get done to you know, and, and pray for the best that he's okay. Yeah, we are hoping for the best because he, along with Bryce, has been in a different role, one of the more consistent guys out there for you. Yeah, he's he, he's basically kind of the anchor in the bullpen. And there's other guys there. It just means if he's out, then we got some guys there that need to step up and fill that role. And so it's kind of next man up. It's hard to replace, but it is what it is, and we need some other guys to step up and get the job done. It's a big Friday game, chance to get back in the series with these guys. Yeah, we need a win. We need a series win. Um, it's going to go a long ways, and it's a good team, but it's a team that you know you play good baseball, you can you can win. So, hopefully, that happens tonight. All right, Coach Hope too. Uh, we'll talk to you post game. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. All right, that is BYU head coach Trent Pratt's time now for tonight's starting lineups, courtesy of Big O Tires. Stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires location. Big O Tires, the team you trust. The Oklahoma Sooners will lead off with center fielder Jason Walk, number one. Hitting second, the right fielder, number 12, Bryce Madrin. Hitting third, DH, number two, Easton Carmichael. Hitting cleanup, the first baseman, number five, Michael Snyder. Hitting fifth, third baseman, number three, Anthony McKenzie. Hitting sixth, the left fielder, number seven, Kendall Pettis. And all six players, first six in the batting order, are in the same spots in the order and same positions on the field as last night. That goes for the uh, top six. In the seven hole, the shortstop Jackson Willits moving up a spot from eighth last night. Willits wears jersey number 77. In the eight hole, number 22, Scott Mudler, the catcher. He was batting seventh last night, down a spot in the order. And remaining in the nine spot, the second baseman, number six, Isaiah Lane, starting pitcher for the Sooners. It's number 26, Kyson Witherspoon. He's a right-hander with a 3.51 ERA and a fastball that touches 98. Those are the Sooners. BYU will lead off with left fielder Luke Anderson, jersey number 11. Wearing number 17, playing third base, hitting second, Easton Jones. Hitting third, the first baseman, number 18, Colin Reuter. Hitting cleanup, the right fielder, number 7, Cooper Vest. Hitting fifth, the DH, number 33, Kuhio Aloy. Hitting sixth, number 2, Brock Watkins, the shortstop. Hitting seventh, the catcher, number 10, Parker Goff. Hitting eighth, the second baseman, number 5, Crew Robinson. Hitting ninth, the center fielder, number 50, Crew McChesney. So back to back crews at the back of the batting order, hitting eighth and ninth. 
Crew getting his first start in center field. His only other start this year came in left field back on February 24th, so nearly two months between starts for the freshman Crew McChesney. Starting pitcher for BYU. He's finishing his warm-up routine on the hill. It's number 19, Bryce Robison. Robison, a 2-3 and three record with a 3.89 ERA. He's gone 44 innings, making his ninth start of the season. Career record of 24-9. and nine. So Bryce's next win will be his 25th, and that leaves him in some uh, pretty rarefied air. The all-time BYU pitcher tallies. Hope that win for Bryce... Comes tonight. Oklahoma coming in with a 22 and 14 record. BYU 15 and 19. In Big 12 play, the Sooners are 12 and 4, and BYU is 6 and 13. OU coming in two tonight. Solo lead in the Big 12. A half game in front of West Virginia, which did not play last night. And, of course, OU did play here in Provo. All right, we're getting ready to get this one underway. Switch hitting. Jason Walk will step in and hit left-handed against the right-handed thrower. Bryce Robison. Roby's long outing in the year. Six and a third. Weather at first pitch, 59 degrees. Wins out of the northwest at five to seven miles per hour. Roby kicks and deals and gets this one underway with a fastball missing away for ball one. Four-pitch mix for Bryce Robison. Fastball in the 88 to 94 mile per hour range. And that's a heater just above the knees. Called strike one, one and one to walk. Slider in the low 80s. A curve in the mid-70s, a change in the high 70s. As that's fouled and dribbled back to the backstop. One and two, Roby gets ahead of Jason Walk. Walk saw a 16-game reach base streak end last night as he went 0 for 5 in the series opener. The one-two. That's in the air to right. And getting a good break on it is Cooper Vest. Jogs a few yards to his right and makes the catch on that soft liner. And one gone here in the top of the first. Last night, Cooper Vest was the first baseman. Colin Ruder was the catcher. And Luke Anderson was the right fielder. Tonight, Luke's in left. Vest goes to right. Ruder goes to first. Parker Goff gets back in the starting lineup. That'll be a one-hopper as BYU is defending in the shift. And the shift works perfectly as playing deep in the hole. In fact, in short right field is Crew Robinson. And he gets Bryce Madrin to ground into the 4-3, hitting right into the shift. BYU shift will see Easton Jones by himself on the left side of the diamond. Third base, Brock Watkins goes to second base, traditional position. Robinson, the second baseman, drops into the short right field hole. And Ruder, the first baseman, hugs the line. The shift working perfectly for the 4-3 ground out. Two quickly gone here in the top of the first. Roby is cruising, facing Easton Carmichael. That's a 90-mile-per-hour heater. Catches the outside edge for strike one. Oh, one to Carmichael. Last night, three for five, extending his hit streak to five games. Has reached base, base streak to 16 consecutive games. That's a slider away for ball one. Easton Carmichael, one of the Big 12's best hitters. In conference play, a bunch of top categories as he grounds into a 5-3, a quick half inning for BYU defensively. The ground out to Easton Jones at third and on the 5-3. It's a 1-2-3 inning on defense for Roby and the Cougs. We go bottom one on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Intermountain Health for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Intermountain Health, the official medical provider of BYU Athletics. We just saw an eight-pitch half inning for Bryce Robinson of the BYU Cougars getting the Sooners 1-2-3 in the top of the first to fly out in a pair of ground outs, bringing us to the bottom of one. And Luke Anderson, BYU's left fielder, will bat first. He's on a six-game streak of reaching base. Starting pitcher for the Sooners, Kyson Witherspoon. High pitch count of 101. Came in his last game. Kyson, the twin brother of Malachi Witherspoon, who closed out last night's game for the Sooners, a game won by OU 10-8 here at Miller Park. Anderson, the right-handed hitter, will face the right-handed throwing Kyson Witherspoon. 0-0, bottom one. Game two of three. Do it again tomorrow. 
One o'clock first pitch for the series finale. Witherspoon. Working third base shot of the rubber. Kicks and fires. And Luke Anderson fouls back 96. That's what you're going to get from Witherspoon. Steady diet of mid-90s fastballs. BYU breaking out the Royals. Normally it's a Saturday uniform combo with the Royals. They're going with it Friday this week. The 0-1. Fouled back. 0-2. For BYU, white caps with Royal Bills. Royal jerseys, white colored pants. The Sailor Coog logo on the left chest for BYU. OU. In the gray and crimson caps. Crimson jerseys with white lettering. Gray pants. The OU logo on the left chest for OU. Witherspoon the 0-2. And misses low for ball one. The 1 2 to Anderson. Fouls it off the fist, back to the netting. Stays in the count. He fouled off 97 that time. We've seen 96 and 97 early from Kyson Witherspoon. His velo range 94 to 98. And he's been right there. The 1 2 to Anderson. In tight, ball two. Lucas hits in five of his last six games coming in two tonight. Had a hit last night. The 2-2. And he got him. Got him with the off-speed. Caught looking at a backward K as Luke Anderson is retired. Struck out last night three times. So now four strikeouts. In the seven at-bats. Six at-bats. For Luke Anderson. Swing and a miss by Easton Jones through 96. Amending that, Luke Anderson has had just five at bats in the series. Now one for five with four strikeouts. Four strikeouts and a base hit for Luke. The leadoff hitter, the number two hitter, Easton Jones, now down 0 1. Takes high for ball one. Fastball missing up top. One and one the count to Jones. Jones hit streak is 10 games. BYU struck out 15 times last night, tying a season high. Early K by Anderson as that's fouled into the vicinity of the Oklahoma bullpen, just beyond the fencing. And closing the bullpen down the right field line, goes to one and two to Jones. BYU's hits leader, Easton Jones. 41 base hits on the year. Luke Anderson second with 39. Jones last night, couple of hits. Also, BYU's home runs leader with nine on the year, 12 for his career. The 1 2 to Jones. Righty versus righty here. And fouls it to the netting. We stay 1 and 2. So, Kyson Witherspoon's already thrown as many pitches as Bryce Robison threw the entire top of the first to get out of the inning. It's 1 and 2 to Jones with one gone here in the bottom of the first. Again, foul back and out of play. Back into the softball vicinity, and softball is again playing Iowa State tonight. And Iowa State with a 1 0 lead, top one. Behind us at Gale Miller Field. Here it's BYU and OU baseball, game two of three. Scoreless bottom one, a 1 2 count to BYU's third baseman, Easton Jones. And that's in tight on the fist. Took the barrel off the shoulder. They'll appeal at first base and say, nope, it's ball two. Home plate umpires A.J. Wendell tonight. Jeff Spizak at first. Ben Harlow at second. Casey Moser at third. Moser was last night's home plate arbiter. 2-2 to Jones. Hammers that to deep left center. And that will be into the Pines. Home run number 10 on the year for Easton Jones. A solo shot. Puts the Cougs on top. one nothing. bottom one. That's a Zions Bank home run. Brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zions Bank is for you. 426 feet and 104 miles per hour off the barrel. That was thumped. 
into the power alley in left center. 426 for Jonesy. One nothing Cougs. BYU breaks out on top. Colin Ruder now batting with one gone, no one on, and a one nothing BYU lead. A swing and a miss for Colin. BYU in scoring first on the year. 11 and four is the record. When BYU scores in the first inning, nine and four is the record. A couple of good trends with BYU opening up one nothing in the first. And that's a fastball at 97, missing below the kneecaps. One and one, the count to Reuter. Easton Jones, home run number 10 on the year, 13 for the career. Another solo shot. Easton hits a lot of solo shots, as do the Cougars. The 1-1. A healthy hack there for Reuter on the off speed. When you're expecting 95 and you get 85, that's a handful. 1-2 and two to Reuter. BYU with its 44th home run of the year. 29 of the 44 solo shots. Fouls it back out of play, stays alive in the count, one and two. So 66% of BYU's home runs, nearly two-thirds, have been with no one on base this year. Talk about the narrow margin. Just a guy or two on base were for about half of those home runs, and your win total suddenly looks a whole lot different. And a backward K, another caught looking. As they get on the off speed, Witherspoon gets his second strikeout of the first inning last night. All the strikeouts for BYU till about the eighth inning were swinging. First two strikeouts of this one are looking. one nothing BYU on the Easton Jones home run here in the bottom of the first. First left-handed hitter for BYU, Cooper Vest, the right fielder. With two gone, no one on, one nothing Cougs. Bottom one, that's fastball up and in, missing for ball one. RBI number 25 for Easton Jones. Base hit number 42. 42 hits lead the Cougars on the year. A swing and a miss for Jones, or for Coop, and he's in a 1-1 count. Swung at the slider and missed to even the count. A foul away the opposite way to my left. Count goes to one and two with two gone. Coop saw his 12-game streak of reaching base end last night. He was 0 for 5. With a strikeout, playing at first base last night, starting in right field tonight. Coop in a 1-2 hole to Kyson Witherspoon. Two strikeouts for his two outs here in the first. Fastball up top. Count is 2-2. and two. And a third consecutive caught-looking strikeout. Three backwards Ks for Kyson Witherspoon. Putting the K in Kyson as Vest is down on strikes. If BYU wasn't striking out, the Cougs were hitting a home run. That was Easton Jones in inning number one. Anderson strikes out. Jones goes solo. Reuter and Vest both strike out. But BYU gets a run on a hit. It is 1-0 BYU after one on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU Baseball brought to you by New Skin, your innovative beauty and wellness company that helps you look, feel, and live better. Better start for BYU tonight. one nothing lead. Top two here at Miller Park. Leading things off for the Sooners. Number five, Michael Snyder, the first baseman. In Big 12 play, Snyder leads the conference in RBI. Second in total bases. 1-0 goes to 1-1 one one as he grounds it foul to the BYU dugout area on the ground. Bryce Robison had to throw all of eight pitches to get through the first inning. A 1-2-3 inning for BYU on a fly out and a pair of ground outs to second and third. Snyder, last night, good night. Three for five. Three runs, two RBI, and takes fastball away for ball two. Two and one to the Sooner first baseman. 
Snyder batting 331 on the year. That number dips to 281 leading off. He goes opposite field. Vest is back into the track. And that will tie the game. A home run to the opposite field for Michael Snyder. His eighth of the year and career as a Sooner. And we are square at one. Opposite field power for Michael Snyder. Over the wall in right. It's a 1-1 ball game. And for Bryce Robison, that is the sixth home run against him. That leads all BYU pitchers. No one else with more than three homers allowed. Roby's up to six on that blast by Schneider to the opposite field. So it's a 1-1 ball game, and Anthony McKenzie will now bat. So solo shot for BYU in the bottom of the first, and a solo shot for OU in the top of the second. Squares the game. Ooh, and that's laced. Ooh. Nearly went into the spectators' area. Grandstand to my right. I think everyone's okay. Didn't hit anybody, but it was lasered beyond the netting. So an unprotected area just after the grandstand. Concrete seating ends to my right. The temporary bleachers set up down the right field line. So a big crowd expected tonight. More than 2,000 last night. We're in a 1-1 count here to Anthony McKenzie. Roby winds and fires. Takes something off it and gets a swinging strike two by McKenzie. Michael Snyder, meantime, is four for six in the series with four runs and three RBI. The one-two in the dirt, two and two. Snyder coming to the game, second in total bases in Big 12 conference play. He added four more on that round tripper. McKenzie in a two-two count. The five-hole hitter. And on the changeup, a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for Bryce Robinson for the first time tonight. One out here in the top of the second. Kendall Pettis will now bat out of the sixth spot in the batting order. Left fielder Pettis. One hit last night. One for four with a run and an RBI. One gone, no one on. Top two. Infield pinching in on the corners as Pettis was showing bunt. One ball, no strikes to Pettis. Breaking ball, just missing low. 2-0. BYU trying to get back to 500 in night games. The Cougs are 7-8 at night. Sooners are 11-6. That's in tight for ball three. A 3-0 count from Robinson to Pettis. Pettis batting 258 on the year. Three homers on the year, 10 for his career. The 3-0 is taken. And Pettis, as he begins his walk toward first base, is told to come back into the batter's box, called strike one. Fastball catches the kneecaps and the 3 1 count. Now he can take his walk. A five pitch walk of Pettis by Robison, and so one on and one out for Jackson Willits. Here in the second inning, Michael Snyder leads off with an opposite field home run. To right, McKenzie strikes out. Pettis walks. That was a 415-foot home run by Michael Snyder. 104 off the barrel. Easton Jones went 426 feet to left center. 103 off the bat for his home run in the first inning. So a pair of solo shots have us 1-1 here, top two. Willits, after a couple of checks of Pettis at first, takes called strike one. Breaking ball from Bryce Robison, settles in, and it's 0-1 to Willits. The shortstop, he's up one spot in the batting order from 8th to 7th from last night to tonight. Pickoff attempt gets away, and it'll be an E1. And holding it second on the overthrow is Kendall Pettis. So Bryce Robinson has got a really good pickoff move but has no pickoffs on this season. Through to first and it got away from Colin Reuter. So either E1 or E3 here. We'll see how they score that. But the uh, pickoff attempt got away into foul territory and on the run was Pettis and reaches second now in scoring position for Willits in an 0-1 count. It's a one-hopper to Reuter. He'll handle it and jog to the bag for out number two. So the unassisted ground out to first base by Willits. Moves Pettis over to third. 
And it will be an E1 on the pickoff attempt that went awry, allowing Pettis to reach. And then Pettis reaches third base on the ground out by Willits advancing on the play. So third base for Muddler now. Scott Muddler will now bat for the first time. He's down a spot in the batting order from seventh last night to eighth tonight. There was a bit of a delay here as there were some kids playing in the outfield pines. They're actually in the, in the batter's eye area and kind of disrupting the batter's concentration behind that center field wall. And so the second base umpire, Ben Harlow, went and was uh, he, he played the role of get off my lawn. He was out there waving the kids out of the, uh, out of the trees there in the outfield. Two balls, no strikes. Meantime, to Muddler. Goes to two and one. There's a fastball right at the kneecaps. Two balls and a strike. So Snyder solo home run. McKenzie strikes out. Pettis walks. Advances to second on an E1 now on third on a ground out by Willits. And that's popped up. Colin Ruder's going to call for it. In foul territory outside the first baseline. Makes the catch, and BYU gets out of the second inning. But it's one run on a hit. A solo home run from Michael Snyder. There were no error. There was one error and one left on base. We go to the bottom of the second. 1-1. Cougars and Sooners on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars baseball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Cougar baseball brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA is a proud sponsor of the BYU baseball team. BYU in Oklahoma tied 1-1, bottom two. Aloy, Watkins, and Goff do up for BYU five, six, and seven spots in the order. A pair of solo home runs have us tied at one. Game two of this series. Five other Big 12 series opening tonight. And UCF is playing a non-conference series with Central Michigan. It's Big 12 scores later in our broadcast. Kyson Witherspoon into his second inning of work. A lot of solo home run to Easton Jones in the first. Struck out the other three batters he faced. All looking. In stark contrast to last night when every strikeout for BYU batters until late in the game was of the swinging variety. Three backwards Ks in the first. But BYU's now struck out 18 times for its 30 outs. of BYU's outs via the strikeout on offense so far in this series. The 1-1, and that's fouled off home plate and dribbling up the third baseline. 1-2 to Kuhio Aloy, BYU's RBI leader. Picked up his 30th RBI of the season last night with his sixth sacrifice fly. He's 10th nationally in sack flies and leads the Big 12 in sacrifice flies. The 1-2 to Kuhio Aloy, the freshman from Hawaii. That's a miss away. Slider well outside the zone. So two and two to Cujillo Aloy. Fastball slider change for the right-hander for Oklahoma. Twin brother of Malachi, who closed last night's game. A 2-2 to Cujillo Aloy. And that's an opposite field ground ball into right field and a base hit for Cujillo to lead off the BYU second. First hit of the series for Aloy was 0 for 2 last night. With that sack fly RBI and a base on balls. So Brock Watkins homered last night. Bats with Aloy on first. Aloy's the go-ahead run in this 1-1 ball game. No one out and one aboard for BYU. Brock Watkins. Batting 237. Missed 16 games due to injury. He's now back in and making his fifth consecutive start at shortstop. And the breaking ball is grounded into left field. So back-to-back base hits for BYU. By Aloy and Watkins. And Cujillo goes to second base. Cougs have something percolating here in the second inning. Parker Goff will now bat. In his last two games played, four for six with four runs scored and two RBI. So he's seeing it well. That's why he gets back into the lineup tonight playing as the battery mate, uh, Bryce Robison, with Goff catching. Colin Ruder going to first, and Cooper Vest to right field defensively. Speaking of defense, McKenzie, Willits, Lane, and Snyder across the infield for Oklahoma from 
Left to right, third base over to first. The corners play in as Goff shows bunt and drops it down. And then bobbled by Witherspoon. Everyone's safe. That'll be an E1. And it's bases loaded now with no one outs as BYU gets an early chance to create some distance between itself and Oklahoma. So Parker Goff was playing for the sacrifice bunt, but it was not handled cleanly by Kyson Witherspoon, who might have been able to go to third to get the lead runner if he comes up cleanly, but he does not. And so Aloy to third, Watkins to second, Goff on first, and Crew Robinson now bats with the bases loaded. BYU as a team this year, batting 315 with the sacks stacked, 17 for 54. Crew Robinson is looking for his first base hit of the year with the bases loaded. And a call strike inside. Fastball up high, but well within the zone for strike one. Crew Robinson this year is 0 for 5 with the bases loaded. No balls and a strike to BYU second baseman. Aloy is on third. Watkins on second. Goff on first. 1-1. Cougars and Sooners. Golden opportunity for BYU here. Bottom two. The kick and fire from Witherspoon's a 60-footer. Smacks the catcher Muddler in the chest. And the count goes to one and one. Aloy. A leadoff single with a ground ball to right. Watkins follows with a ground ball single to left. And then Goff reaching on the E1. A fielding error by the pitcher Witherspoon setting up bases loaded for the eight-hole hitter Crew Robinson. Left-handed against the righty. A swing and a miss on the slider. Sweeping in on the left-hander in the box. Robinson one and two. The count. All three outs Witherspoon got in the first were via the strikeout. He's got Crew in a one-two hole with the bases loaded. The one-two popped up. Will not be deep enough to get a run home. Second baseman calling for infield fly rule is called. A little bit of delay before the call, but it was made, and now one out, and the bases loaded. BYU now 17 for 55 with the bases loaded this season. Neither team had a bases loaded opportunity last night. BYU now 309 on the year with the sack stack. Crew McChesney. I think his second start of the year, but his first start in almost two months. In his last two games, three for four with a couple of runs and an RBI. That's why he's in the lineup tonight. Lefty bat also helps against the right-handing, right-handed Kyson Witherspoon. And a swing from the heels through a 96-mile-per-hour fastball for strike one. The high heat. And crew just missing it. 0-1 to McChesney. Last night, one for one as a pinch hitter with a run scored. The 0-1, high and away. That was a heater at 95, missing up top. The count goes even, one and one to Crew McChesney. One ball, one strike, one out, three aboard in a 1-1 ball game. We are bottom two here at Miller Park. High overcast with some gauzy sunshine as the night falls. A check swing go on the appeal at third, and Crew's in a 1-2 hole. That was a fastball at 96, up in the zone, probably a little above. And Crew wanted to hold back, but the barrel came past the hip, and that's strike two. After bases loaded, no out, a pop-up, and now a 1-2 hole for McChesney. Witherspoon winds and fires, and misses well up top. to Even the count at 2-2. BYU hits lefties better than righties on the year. Right-hander Witherspoon working third base side of the rubber. And a 2-2 count. Delivery breaker missing away. Fills the count at 3-2, so a payoff pitch coming here from Witherspoon. has got to make a pitch, or BYU takes a one-run lead on a bases-loaded walk. If Crew can earn that. Lefty in the box, righty on the hill. The delivery. And a backward K. The fourth strikeout. Caught looking. Thrown by Witherspoon, and he's one out from getting out of a bases loaded, no one out jam. And the Cougs are now 0 for 2 with the sacks stacked in this inning. And BYU's recent bases loaded luck has been pretty rough. 
and not just bases loaded, but BYU's had multiple bases loaded, no one out situations over the last couple of weeks, and feels like more often than not, it's been hard to get that clutch hit. Two gone, three aboard. Luke Anderson, though, the right-handed hitter, represents the top of the order, takes a call, strike one. So Luke goes down 0-1. Witherspoon already four backwards Ks. He's recorded five outs, four strikeouts, and a pop-up. Fastball outside. Away from the right-handed hitting Luke Anderson. One and one the count. Aloy, leadoff single. Watkins, a back-to-back single. Goff, reaching on an E1. Bases loaded for Robinson. Pop-up and McChesney strikeout. Now Anderson, top of the order. He struck out looking in the first. Grounder to third. Short hop will handle to second for the force. And OU gets out of bases loaded. No one out. And a nice play made on the charge by McKenzie on a short hop. He goes 5-4 for out number three, and BYU gets nothing in the second. No runs on two hits. There was an error, and three left aboard. We go top three, 1-1 ball game on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Calling all Cougar fans, set sail with Jimmer, Coach Sitake, and a host of BYU legends on cruising with the Cougs, April of 2025. The entire cruise ship, all BYU fans, and all BYU entertainment. Reserve your cabin today at BYUcruise.com. That's BYUcruise.com. We're top three here at Miller Park. 1-1 ball game. Oklahoma one run on one hit. BYU one run on three hits. Both teams have an early error. And Bryce Robinson's breaking ball settles in for strike one. As called on Isaiah Lane. Lane, the nine-hole hitter. The second baseman, jersey number six, coming in with a seven-game reach base streak. Was one for four last night in the series opener. The 0-1 goes to one and one. Fastball missing low and away. BYU had bases loaded. No one out in the bottom of the second. Got nothing. A pop-up, a strikeout, and 5-4 ground out. Leaving three aboard. And the Cougars are now 17 for 57. With the bases loaded, they've gone from 315 to begin the game to 298 now. With the sack stacked, 2-1 to Lane. He'll take low for ball three. Three and one from Robinson to Lane, the second baseman. Seeing it well of late, he's seven for his last 15 at the plate. Homerless in his year and career. And earns a five-pitch walk, so second walk issued by Bryce Robison, leadoff batter aboard for the Sooners here in the top of the third, 1-1 ball game. Jason Walk, the leadoff hitter, switch hitting. Flight out to right field in the first, bats now in the third. Hitless last night. An 0-5 for night for Walk, who did not walk last night. In fact, doesn't earn a lot of walks. Jason Walk, W-A-L-K. Squares and then pulls back, but it's called strike on him. Curveball from Roby. Get him ahead 0-1. Walk batting 240 on the year. 219 with runners on. He's got a teammate on first base in Isaiah Lane. That'll be in the dirt. 1-1 one one the count. Yeah, the Cougs have had some rough bases loaded luck this year. A chance to create some early distance between themselves and the Sooners goes begging in the second as that comes in tight on Lane, who backs away on a possible squaring attempt there. It'll go to two and one. That fastball in tight at 87 for ball two. Tie ball game top three here in Provo. Wind blowing out to right center. A hit and run. A backhand by Robinson on the ground ball to second. Goes to first for the first out of the third inning. So Jason Walk is retired on the 4-3. Advancing on the play is Isaiah Lane in scoring position. For Bryce Madrin. Madrin grounded out 4-3 in the first. It was a 1-2-3 first for BYU. Robinson threw only eight pitches in that half inning. He's now throwing his 37th pitch. So much busier second and now third inning than the opener for Roby. 24-9 for his BYU career coming into tonight with a 1.34 whip and a 
Very healthy 4-1 to strikeout to walk ratio. That's popped up by Madrin into short right field. Right fielder Vest will camp under it and make the catch at the line. Thinking about tagging, but thinking better of it was Lane. And two gone here in the top of the third. As Madrin flies out to right. And holding still is Lane. So runner in scoring position for Easton Carmichael. He grounded out to third in the first. Five consecutive multi-hit games coming in two tonight for Easton Carmichael. His hit streak is five games. His reach base streak is 16 games. And he'll pop that up to short left field. Left fielder Anderson coming in. Shortstop Watkins calling for it and making the catch. And BYU is out of the third inning after a leadoff walk. So for the Sooners, no runs, no hits, no errors. One left to board. We go to the bottom of the third. 1-1, BYU and OU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Cougars baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Oklahoma Sooners on a season-long five-game win streak coming into tonight. BYU has lost seven consecutive conference home games. Swept at home by Kansas and Baylor. And losing the first of three to Oklahoma last night. In between all that, the Cougars did go to Austin and take two of three. Easton Jones leads off the third. Solo home run in the first for Easton. Gave BYU 1-0 lead. Fouls it away. Back away out of play. Home run number 10 on the year. 13 in the BYU career for Easton Jones. First Cougar to double-digit home runs this year. One of the Big 12's past power hitters. 0-1. And drills that right at the left fielder. So line out to left. Pettis makes the catch and one gone. Colin Ruder now bats having struck out looking in the first. And all four BYU strikeout victims have been victims of the backward K. The caught looking. Ruder looking to extend a 27-game streak of reaching base safely. One gone for Ruder. Base is clear, and he extends the streak with a bloop to center field. So Colin Ruder with his third hit of the series, now three for seven in the series. A one-out single for Ruder, and that streak goes to 28 games of reaching base safely. So one-out single bringing Cooper Vest to the plate. Vest struck out looking in the first. Colin Ruder, BYU's batting average leader. At 324 when the night began. Now batting 327 on the year to pace the Cougs with that base hit to center field. A throw over two first, where Michael Snyder mans the bag and checks Reuter. First base coach Tyler Kuhlbach conferring with Colin. Third base coach is Adam Law for BYU. Head coach Trent Pratt in his third year. One gone, one on. Grounder up the middle. Handled by the shortstop. One play to make. It goes to first. And so on the 6-3 ground out, Vest is retired. Advancing on the play is Ruder from first to second. So 6-3 on the ground out. Two out now for BYU in the bottom of the third. 1-1 ball game. Sooners and Cougars. Easton Jones solo home run in the first. Michael Snyder solo home run in the second. That brings us to 1-1. That's the lone hit for OU. BYU one run on four hits. Cujillo Aloy singled him with stranded. And that base is loaded, no one out situation in the second. Two gone, one on. Runner in scoring position for Cujillo is Colin Ruder. Swing and a miss from Cujillo on a fastball away. 0 oh, 1 2 Aloy, the DH. Cujillo now with hits in seven of his last nine games with that single in the second inning. Kyson Witherspoon on the mound. From the stretch, kicks and deals. And. It'll be dribbled back to the backstop. 0-2 to Aloy. Aloy hitting out of the five spot. One for three in the series with an RBI. And a base on ball. Sack fly last night. His sixth of the year. Leads BYU and the Big 12 in that category. The 0-2 from Witherspoon. And that'll be softly lined to the first baseman. And that'll do it for BYU here in the third. No runs on a hit 
No errors. One left on board. We go. Top four. 1-1 ball game. BYU and OU on the new skin. BYU Sports Network.